We're out here at Bella Kalinas Medical in Bee Caves, Texas, filming our construction video series, watching them apply fluid applied air and moisture barrier on the Bowtex block walls. As you know, any building envelope has to have four control layers, the bulk water rejection, air infiltration, water vapor permeability, and last but not least, thermal. The Bowtex wall system does a great job on that last one, providing a tremendous amount of insulating power. Uh, it's actually two and a half times what the 2015 energy code requires here in Central Texas. Uh, we add the Bowtex air moisture barrier product on top as a last step to provide that bulk water rejection and the air infiltration protection. With me today is Chris Leonard. He's our Director of Operations and Technical Services. Uh, out here filming the uh, the AMB yeah. application here on the wall. Thank you, uh, yeah, thank you for being out absolutely. here. Absolutely. So, uh, tell me a little bit about um, uh, other products out here. This is a could have been a uh, this is a medical office building. Mm -hmm. Could have been structural steel with sure. light gauge and conventional sheathing of sure. some sort. What would you normally see on this type of project? Sure. So, in Texas, uh, in the commercial market, we see everything from commercial wraps um, to uh, peel and stick membranes. Um, sometimes we'll even see uh, some laminated jip board with the tape seams right. and then of course fluid applied air and moisture barriers. Okay, what are some of the pros and cons of those systems? Sure, so the, the house wraps that have been developed into commercial wraps, uh, they have some limitations in terms of windy days like we have out here today with it flapping in the wind, a lot of joints to, to take care of, issues once you have penetrations through the walls, uh, just, just a lot of details to work out that, that maybe don't always happen. Uh, in terms of the, the laminated jip board, uh, it seems like a pretty great product because it goes up and mm -hmm. then all you have to do is tape the seams. Uh, it's, uh, it's yet to be seen just how long that tape might last. So um, although it seems like a pretty good product right now, uh, I, we just don't know. Right. Um, and then in terms of, of cost, um, the, the sticky uh, membrane, peel and stick membranes, um, great product, uh, but by far the most cost uh, um, in terms of applying that. Very cost effective. Um, sure. Yeah, it's just not the most cost effective. So we found a pretty happy medium with a fluid applied. Um, maybe a little bit more than a, uh, a house wrap or a commercial wrap, uh, but at the same time, it provides some of those uh, uh, robust qualities. Yeah, of, a lot, of lot more membranes. performance. And yeah. obviously, if you're going to install a Bowtex wall system, very high performance, right. very resilient wall system, you want some uh, something that's compatible with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You were integrally involved in the development of AMB20. Tell me a little bit about what was important about the uh, the attributes of this product. Yeah, sure. So we uh, we played with a lot of different materials, uh, tested them on the Bowtex block. Uh, as you know, uh, the block is made up of polystyrene and cement. Uh, it creates a very uh, uh, thermally efficient product, right. uh, but it is porous. Uh, and it does have some dimpling in the in the block, uh, so we had to make sure that the, whatever material we chose uh, was thick enough uh, to get coverage, uh, but also performed well in terms of adherence and, and other performance specs when it comes to applying it on the Bowtex ball. Great. So uh, A and B twenty works uh, obviously on a, on, a, on a more rough textured product sure. like Bowtex uh, block. What else does it work on? Yeah, is there, so is there any limitations to that? Yeah, none that we've uh, come across so far. So uh, we've seen it applied to CMU. We've seen it applied to uh, a dens glass like product. Uh, we've seen it applied to wood, uh, wood sheathing. Um, so it seems to work on most products. Uh, we haven't run any, run into any yet that uh, it doesn't work on. Right. Good. Is um, I mean there are. Uh, air moisture barriers or fluid applied have taken off recently. Sure. And there are a lot of competitive yeah, products absolutely. out there. What really differentiates them? Yeah, you're right. There's a ton of them on the market now. And so we see uh, in terms of thickness and, and kind of viscosity of material, right. we see the whole gambit. We see everything from very, very thin to very, very thick. Uh, the Bowtex A and B, uh, maybe a little bit on the thicker side, but it's still towards the middle of, of the group. Um, but what really sets us apart is the ability to either pre or post tape or caulk a wall. So uh, the project that uh, they're working on today, they were able to do some of the caulking beforehand and then apply the air and moisture barrier. Uh, the window details um, aren't quite finished yet, um, and so they're allow, uh, you know, allowing that air and moisture barrier to be applied onto the wall, and then it'll readily accept whatever tape or flashing or caulking goes into okay. that window. So a lot of flexibility, Absolutely. and you know jobs don't go in the sequence that you <laughs> hope for. So. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it So doesn't. that added flexibility has some real yeah, value. Absolutely. Great, great information. Thank you for yeah. that. Uh, and I know we got a construction series video coming yeah. out. We're going to go into detail, uh, go through the step-by-step -step process of installing the air moisture barrier on the Bowtex wall. Absolutely. Good deal. Well, stay tuned for that. And if for more information about Bowtex and the Bowtex air moisture barrier, go to bowtexsystems.com.